So, in today's video, I am going to show you some of the best TVs for PS5 that can you guys buy in 2022. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Now the first TV in the list is LG C1 OLED. On this TV you get Type OLED, Subtype, WRGB, Resolution 4K, Sizes, 48. The LG C1 OLED is the greatest 4 Kelvin TV for PS5 with an OLED panel. Because of their near infinite contrast ratio and excellent black levels, OLED TVs are ideal for darkened room watching. Because each pixel turns on and off separately when viewed in the dark, blacks appear deep and in Kai. And there is no blooming around light objects, so dark game menus will look great. OLED pixels emit light in all directions, giving it a wide viewing angle and making it ideal for co-opus gaming. In addition to having excellent visual quality, the C1 is a terrific gaming TV. It has 4 HDMI ports that support HDMI 2.1 bandwidth, so you can connect your PS5 to any of them for 4 Kelvin at 120Hz gaming. Because it has low input lag, you won't notice any delay in your actions appearing on screen. And motion looks extraordinarily fluid because of its quick response time. For HDR gaming, it's great because it has a high contrast ratio and can show a wide range of colors. Its HDR peak brightness isn't very high. So second in the list is Samsung QN90A QLED. On this TV you get Type LED, Subtype, VA, Resolution 4K, Sizes, 43. With an LED panel, the Samsung QN90A QLED is the best TV for PlayStation 5 we've tested. It's a great all-around TV with a lot of gaming functions that can also be used for other things. If you don't wish to stream your video directly from the PS5, the built-in Tizen OS is simple to use and offers a large number of apps to choose from. LED TVs are brighter than OLED TVs, and they're ideal if you're concerned about a reversible burn-in from OLED panels, as LEDs appear to be impervious to it. The QN90A boasts mini LED backlighting, which gives you a lot of control over the local dimming feature. And when combined with the VA panel, you get deep, in Kai Blacks with minimum blooming. It includes HDMI 2.1 bandwidth on one input, a 120Hz panel, and a very quick response time for the appearance of fluid animation in games. It can also play 4 Kelvin games at 120 frames per second from the PS5, and it supports VRR to eliminate screen tearing. So number 3 is on this list is Sony X91J. On this TV you get Type LED, Subtype, BA, Resolution 4K, Sizes, 85. The Sony X91J is the best TV for PS5 use that we've tested if you want a fantastic gaming experience on a large screen. It comes in only one size, 85 inches, and contains characteristics that make it compatible with the console. It's well made, and the metal feet, especially for such a wide screen, provide excellent stability. It includes two HDMI ports with HDMI 2.1 bandwidth, allowing you to play 4K at 120 FPS games from the PS5, but some games, such as Destiny 2, had resolution difficulties, displaying a 3840 by 1080 resolution instead of a 3840 by 2160 resolution. It offers a fast response time for smooth motion in gaming, and while it has an objectively low input lag, it's a little higher than certain other TVs, like the Samsung QN90A QLED. We'll be able to use VRR in a later firmware update. It already has a VR setting, but it does not help with screen tearing. So number 4 is on this list is Hisense U6G. On this TV you get Type LED, Subtype, VA, Resolution 4K, Sizes, 50. The Hisense U6G is the most affordable PS5 TV we've tested. It's a terrific all-around TV with exceptional gaming performance, and even though it lacks some of the more complex gaming capabilities found on higher-end models, it provides good value for money. It comes in a variety of sizes, all of which should perform similarly to the 65 inches model we tested, and it's a reasonably well-built TV that should fit into most living room arrangements. Gamers will like the fast response time for fluid animation, but it, like other VA panel TVs, has a poor response time in dark transitions, which might result in black smearing. Because of the reduced input lag, gaming seems responsive, but it lacks extra features like HDMI 2.1 bandwidth, so you're limited to 4K at 60fps gaming, and it also doesn't support VRR. In a dark room, the VA panel has a high native contrast ratio that makes it good for gaming. The full array local dimming feature improves contrast and picture clarity in dark situations with very little blooming. Now last but not the least in this listing, HISENSEUHG. On this TV you get Type LED, Subtype, VA, Resolution 4K, Sizes, 5565. Look at the Hisense U8G if you want to save money on a high-end TV. It boasts a greater native contrast ratio than the Samsung QN90A QLED, 
while having inferior viewing angles due to the lack of viewing angle technology. Even though it lacks mini LED backlighting, the full array local dimming feature is excellent. It comes with all of the wonderful gaming features that most people want, such as HDMI 2.1 bandwidth for high frame rate gaming, low input lag, and VRR support. It also has a quick response time, however motion artifacts like red ghosting are a known issue, especially in game mode. This is primarily a problem with 4K at 120Hz games, but animation appears smooth in lower frame rate games if you don't notice it. If you want the greatest TV for PS5, the Samsung is the way to go, but if you want something less expensive, the Hisense is a good option. So that's all about it this video. I really hope this video is helpful for you. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe this channel.